and the BAFTA goes to Kenneth Lonergan, Manchester by the Sea. <laughs> I never thought I'd be standing on the stage at the Albert Hall. Um, I just want to thank uh, everyone, really, everyone in the room. Uh, thank you, BAFTA. Thank you so much. Thank you, Studio Canal. Thank you, Sierra Affinity. Thank you, Amazon. I'm very proud to be here representing the nominees for uh, uh, original screenplay and also all the screenwriters who've had made wonderful films this year. A uh, screenwriter is in a unique position because a screenwriter alone understands the thrill of watching an actor become a character that you've only imagined. Um, wherever in the world you find loss and sorrow, you find love and strength as well. Um, if I may indulge in a personal anecdote, the, night, the morning after the presidential election in the United States, my daughter woke up in tears. She didn't want to go to school. My wife insisted that she go. She said there are children in school who are probably frightened and perhaps you could help them. She went. She turned 15 two weeks ago. She's been to five protest demonstrations in that time. Uh, I'm very, very proud of her. I'm very proud and grateful to my wife, Jay Smith Cameron. I love you very much. Nellie Lonergan, if you're watching this in New York, I love you too. Thank you all very much. <laughs> original screenplay, best original screenplay. Kenneth Lonergan, congratulations. Thank you. Our whole crew here was so pleased that you won, and they're all huge fans. How would you even begin to get into the mindset of a character like Lee, who's gone through such trauma in, in his life, and start the story from where you begin? Well, I think the thing about trauma and, and uh, loss and sorrow is that we've all been through it, even if our own traumas, sorrows, and losses are different. And I think one thing that is wonderful about human beings is how we can communicate each other, with each other even through uh, varying experiences because yeah. the emotional life is the same within each of us. Okay, yeah, no, absolutely. I, I, your, your scripts are full of incredibly observed, minute details. Um, dialogue in which characters interrupt or speak over each other. I mean, obviously that's, that's very theatrical. I mean, how hard is that to direct? And I mean, do you workshop? Do you have a lot of, you know, well, do you, you have a lot of time? You rehearse, you talk to yeah. the cast, you talk to the actors, you try to have everyone oriented in the same way, uh, the same, make sure everyone has the same background in mind, the same family background, the same background oh. between the friends in the story. And uh, it's, you know, I'm, doing, I'm acting through the whole film when I'm writing it, so making the transition to the directing phase is, is fairly natural. And then uh, with actors like mine, you don't have to do mm -hmm. much. You let them go for the most part. Yeah. I mean, and, and the three incredible actors at the heart of this story. I mean, Casey Affleck, He's just an incredible performer, isn't he? He's brilliant. I mean, it's a beautiful performance. He's just a, just a, so emotional and so controlled and so contained and so specific to that particular guy. It's, it's really it's an amazing accomplishment. Fantastic. And uh, just very quickly before they borrow you, because I know everybody wants to talk to you, um, I understand you've been adapting Howard's End. Yes, I have been. Uh, I mean, I, I think I'm through adapting it. Yeah, there, it's done. Yes, there's a read through on on tomorrow, in fact. Yes. This is for television? It's for the BBC. Fantastic. That's a very, very exciting yes, prospect. Yes, it certainly okay. is. It's really wonderful to uh, meet you. Thank you, you very much. And congratulations, and good luck to Casey. Thank Fingers you. Fingers crossed. Thanks. Thanks so much.